Hi everyone, I'm Eric Murray. I'm the college president here at Cascadia, and I just pulled back onto campus after having been gone for weeks and weeks, it seems like forever. Today I'm here to show you about how we have changed Cascadia into a COVID safe educational environment. There are different protocols in place and I wanna make sure you're well aware of what we've done to make this a good place to learn for you. Now, some of you are going to be studying with us online and that's great, we're glad that you're still with us and others of you will be coming to in-person classes. So you know, there will always be campus employees on campus just to make sure everything runs well for you. So let me show you what we've got going. So the very first thing we need you to do is to make sure that you're wearing your mask when you're on campus. If you don't have one for some reason or you need a new one, we will have some available at the entrance to the college for you. Now, for masks, we wanna make sure two things happen. First is that your nose is covered and your mouth is covered. Some people around the world have been doing this. Not the right thing to do. What we want you to do is this. Nose, mouth. So a couple of reminders about masks. Make sure your hands are clean when you put it on. Don't touch the inside of it. And you also wanna make sure it has a good fit across the bridge of your nose. My whole goal, every time I've been on campus over the last six months, is to touch as few things as possible, including the parking machine. So what Cascadia has done is created a pay by phone app for you so that you can pay for your parking through the app, you never have to touch the machine. All you'll do is enter your license plate and it'll make sure it registers with the parking department. The sign right here, pay by phone. You can go to the Apple store or Google Play and get that downloaded. I'm here at the lower level of CC1. That's the building that is out here on Campus Way across from the buses. I can see the buses right now. This is the only entrance to our building. Now the doors are gonna be open 30 minutes before your class starts. If you arrive earlier than that, you'll need to wait outside until the doors open. Remember to stay socially distanced. One important thing about entering the buildings is that we have a mobile friendly attestation form, a health attestation form that you'll need to complete before you can get into the building. It asks very simple questions about your health. And as you come in, you'll just show this to the people who are at the entry desks. If you don't have that yet on your phone, you can get it through our social media outlets or just go to the Cascadia website and you can find it there. Hi, welcome back to Cascadia. Can I see your date stamp on your health form, please? Great, thank you very much. Make sure you use hand sanitizer on your way in at the automatic station down the hall. Any student or employee coming into the building who has not completed the health attestation form with the date stamp will be able to take their temperature and have them fill out a paper copy here at the station. We've made modifications to the building for your safety. You'll notice as you come in that there will be floor markers, there'll be posters everywhere on the wall reminding you to wear your mask and take other precautions. There will also be distance markers to make sure that you can always stay six feet away from each other. And you'll notice in places like this student lounge that all of the furniture is arranged so that you maintain some distance. Please don't move the furniture. Let it be where it is so that we can maintain a safe and healthy campus. So I'm just about to start my class. I can't wait for everybody else to get here, including the instructor. But you'll notice that all of the classrooms are arranged so that you can be six feet apart from everybody. Six feet in this direction, six feet in this direction. We've also prepared the classrooms so that you can scrub in when you get here, you can clean up when you're done, and we've put garbage cans back in the classrooms. Let me show you how to do those things. We 
also want to make sure that we clean our keyboards. So whether you're an instructor at the front of the class or you're in a classroom where you're using a keyboard, make sure you use our special solution designed exactly for keyboards, spray it onto the paper towel, and then use the paper towel to wipe down all of the keys of the keyboard. You want to make sure to hit everyone, including the number pad and in between, to make sure everything is clean. It's important that we all take responsibility in cleaning our spaces in order to stay COVID safe. After you've cleaned your individual space, know that all bathrooms, all classrooms, all public areas, every night they're sanitized by our cleanup crew. Let's talk a little bit about our facilities. Now the library in Central Campus will be closed. As well, Kodiak Corner, which is our Student Services Center, it will also be closed, and the Bach Learning Center, which is our tutoring center, will be closed as well. All of these services are available online. Check out the website for more information. Our Activities and Recreation Center, also known as the ARC, is open for students to study, but we're limiting occupancy to 35 people, and that will be on a first-come, first-served basis. You can go to the Kodiak Cave, our food pantry, and it's open for pickup, and you can also go to Subway for food. We know that the last six months have been challenging for all of us, but we've done everything we can to make sure you've got a safe environment here at Cascadia. If you encounter any problems, any hurdles, or any suggestions, please feel free to tell your instructors or one of our staff members. Here's to a good quarter. We're with you. Good luck.